Facing another year of delays and disruptions, local CPAs urge the IRS to take preventative steps, and the Millennial Theater Company goes back to its roots with an updated performance of a hit 80s movie. This is The Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. As of mid-December, the IRS had a backlog of more than 35 million unprocessed tax returns. And with tax season around the corner, CPAs locally and across the country are calling for reforms to prevent more delays. In the last two years, local CPA firms have seen clients wait months to over a year for returns due to understaffing at the IRS and the burden of administering additional programs, such as the Paycheck Protection Program. Nicholas Dimitrios of HBK CPAs and Consultants in Canfield says some of his clients are still trying to resolve tax issues that are two years old. Other CPAs report clients receiving notices in the mail despite paying their taxes. In its annual report to Congress, the Taxpayer Advocate Service said delays in processing responses to IRS notices ran six months or longer compared to the typical 45-day processing time. The IRS is already indicating taxpayers can expect slow service this year, Dimitrios says. To alleviate these issues, the American Institute of CPAs is recommending the IRS take several steps, including providing taxpayers with a simplified abatement process and targeted relief from underpayment and late payment penalties for the 2020 and 2021 tax years. You can read more in the story on our website. This weekend, the Millennial Theatre Company will go back to its roots, presenting an updated version of its first production from 2016. Heather's The Musical will open this Friday at the Hopewell Theatre in Youngstown. The show is based on the 1989 film of the same name. Director Joe Assenti says while this will be the second time they've run Heather's, it is practically a brand new show, as it has been completely revamped with a new script and bigger budget. When we did the show originally, we had a budget of about $500 um, and no set, no costumes, no props. Um, and we had no idea what we were doing. So um, to bring it back now in this way with you know the scale that we're able to do now um, and give the show the treatment that it deserves is um, it's, it's a really special experience to go back to it. Millennial Theatre will hold six performances over the next two weekends. Tickets are available at millennialtheatre.org. And after hosting a successful blood drive, Justin Tanner, a senior at the Columbiana County Career and Technical Center, will pursue a career as a nurse. Tanner organized the blood drive in October as part of his capstone project. The drive secured 24 units of blood for the American Red Cross. Tanner said the experience drew him to consider a career in nursing and next year he will enroll in the licensed practical nurse to registered nurse adult education program at CCCTC. He also plans to host another blood drive in April. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, it's knowing you were treated right every time.